head coach of Elon. We have Charlotte Smith as well as senior Lauren Brown and coach. You all have been picked second in the preseason polls. You went to two back-to-back -back WNIT tournaments. The expectations are on the table. What does the preseason look like in terms of meeting those expectations? Yeah. Well, we know that all of those accomplishments are in the past mm -hmm. and we're trying to build on the future. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I've emphasized is not getting caught up in the polls mm -hmm. and just focusing on the process. And we're trying to focus on the process of daily becoming a better team and trying to be a more consistent team. Right, and as a senior, Lauren, you've seen this over the course of your career, being consistent in the process what are the steps that your team has taken in that regard? Absolutely, like Coach Smith said, um, we really just tried to focus on each day just getting 1% better at something, whether that be defense, our closeouts, communicating. Um, so just focusing on the little things, I feel like is really gonna put us in a good position to be successful this year. And Coach, you have the luxury of returning four starters mm -hmm. to your team that was so tremendously successful last year. How does that aid in the seamless transition into that kind of mindset for this upcoming year? Well, the great thing about having such a seasoned team returning is that they understand my philosophy and my expectations. You know, one of the things I think that stands out is just our study abroad, our international tour that we took this summer. Out of bounds situation, a play from last year that we had not gone over this year. I said, okay, let's run, you know, this out of bounds underplay, and they were able to execute. And that comes from having a seasoned and veteran team. Right, and there are also four freshmen, Lauren, on this team. And with that being said, on the European trip, how did you get to know them a little bit better, not only executing out-of-bounds underplays, but off the court and getting to know who they are as young women? Well, just like you said, we were able to bond. Um, we went to Italy, and it was just such an amazing experience. We were trying you know, new foods. We went um, to, the, to the beach. We just had a lot of different experiences that allowed us to bond um, and form chemistry that hopefully will translate um, on the court. And how have you seen that chemistry translate, Coach? Because the year before, maybe you didn't take a, a European tour, and now you've done it. What are the differences when you do something yeah. like that for your team? It was a huge step for our program, especially for the incoming freshmen, right. because they come in having no idea, you know, in terms of your expectation mm -hmm. on the court mm -hmm. and off the court. So it was a great time to get them thrown into the fire early and introduce them to what Elon Women's Basketball stands for, the culture. And it's great for our team in terms of, you know, going into the season, they're not considered, you know, those rookies and they're not the deer right. in the headlight, not understanding our expectations. So I think it works out in their favor and gives them a great advantage and helps us to be a better team. Well, one of those freshmen, Jada Graves, is from this area. She played at Edison, the lefty guard. I remember her very well from this area. But what has she shown you so far in terms of her transition and her adaptation to the collegiate level? Jada Graves is a tremendous athlete, and she brings such a great defensive presence you know, on our team. And that's one of the things that we really want to concentrate on this year is being a great defensive team. And I think she brings that to the team. And you know, she stepped up and really played a lot of positions for us, point guard position on the wing. And so she's very versatile. And uh, I've seen a lot of great things from her. So I'm excited for her freshman season. And how important is it for you, Lauren, as a senior, to put that Elon uniform on each time, knowing that each time you put it on, that's one less time you're going to be doing so. As a leader for this team, how do you get the rest of the players on that same page in terms of your sense of urgency for every moment? Well, I'm pretty lucky in the fact that we do have a smaller team this year, I'd say, um, with a lot of upperclassmen, a lot of veterans. So just having that background, a lot of us are on the same page as far as what we want to accomplish this year um, and have kind of developed that culture as far as wanting to you know, pursue excellence every single day in practice. So really adding in the, the, fir, the four excuse me, freshmen hasn't been that much of an adjustment um, as far as just having a leadership, not just in myself, but all of the upperclassmen. Right, and coach the non-conference portion of the season, you're taking on Rutgers, Wake Forest, and then back down to North Carolina to take on Duke at Duke and North Carolina at North Carolina. And how special will that be, returning to your alma mater to play? I'm super excited. You know, I love my alma mater, and 
it'll be a great opportunity for us to play in front of you know some people I've known pretty much my whole entire life. Right, right. So excited to go back, and you know I tell them when we cross those lines, I love my alma mater, but <laughs> that day I'll be cheering for Elon. That's right, and I'm sure there are going to be pictures of Coach Smith uh, hitting the shot at the 1994 championship for North Carolina. What does that make you feel when you see what she has accomplished in our game? It is so, we just are fired up. If you talk to our team now, that's all we talk about. Um, but just being able to, not only we want to get that win for ourselves, we'll be able to get that for our coach. She's had an outstanding career. Um, and so that game's really going to be special for us as a program. And what does that mean for you to hear her say something like that about what it means for them I'm excited and I'm mm -hmm. touched. You know, uh, I was talking to Ann Donovan, you know, one of the coaches I played for yes. in the WNBA, and she asked me, she said, does your team know your legacy? And I was like, well, I think they kind of do. We don't have conversations about right. it, but, right. you know, it's just, you know, the other day I actually posted some highlights from, mm. it was a throwback Thursday of some right. things that I accomplished, and, you know, just getting them to right. realize that, you know, it's a great opportunity to play Division One basketball, right. and you can live out so many of your dreams mm -hmm. through the sport of basketball. So hopefully, you know, I've been a great example for them, and, you know, in terms of excellence and just striving to be the best that you can be and striving to be that champion in life. I love that. And in one word, Lauren, describe what it will mean at the end of this season for you to have played for Coach Smith and Elon. Honored. I love that. That's beautiful. And I'm going to go on your <laughs> social media and look for that highlight because let me tell you folks, that shot was amazing. I'm sure you've seen it Absolutely. as well. So we're looking forward to the same kind of excitement with Elon for the upcoming season. So thankful for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to send it on over to Al, who is with the Towson Men's Program.